It was a historic moment for Anara Bay when about 20 kaka beak were planted at the marae last week. Kaka beak is named for his beautiful red flowers shaped like the beak of the endangered New Zealand parrot. Less than 100 plants of the original kaka beak species are known to exist in the wild and are only found in New Zealand. The kaka beaks that we're planting back at Anoda are um, their original descendants or uri of uh, the plants that were collected by Banks and Solander 252 years ago on this day, October the 21st, 1769. The planting was an initiative of the newly formed trust to get the community involved in conservation. The planting day, Thursday of last week, started with Mr. Atkins talking to a group of school kids and adults about the history and the significance of the plant. About 22 Tamariki from schools, Mangatuna and Manutuke, were joined by adults to help with the planting of Kaka Beak along with natives such as Koromiko, Kawa Kawa and Karamo. Mangatuna school teacher Helen Crawford said the planting was a way of giving back to the environment. For us, you know, that gives us that connection back to our gods, our, our gods like Tane Mahuta. Um, and just knowing and understanding that the, the genealogy connection of our ancestors, our atua, um, their connections back to the environment, uh, the taio. And if our children can make that connection and know that it is vital for these to survive for generations to come, uh, then we know that we're doing something right. Manatuke School one-day program teacher Melissa Mackay Haruwai said the day gave the students an opportunity to learn about the environment through a Maori lens to restore and regenerate the whenua. So, ko te hononga taio, ko te hononga whakapapa. Uh, so, we're here to um, reconnect our tamariki with the whenua and reconnect them back with uh, whakapapa or what we have here, what we're planting for years to come. The Marae Committee member, Mihi Hana, said it was a proud moment for the whakapapa. We have a beautiful place here and our Hina Tamatia Marae is our beautiful, beautiful tipuna and, um, and now we have this beautiful uh, Ngutakaka here and it just, um, it just makes me smile. Mrs. Hannah said Mr. Atkins suggested they plant the species in that area. He told me the story of the endeavour coming and taking the seedlings from here and he would love to have them returned as this is what started this little journey, she said.